really need to come together? Is black folks coming together a necessary component to liberation? Is it? Do we really need to come together? Let's take a dive into that. There's a re on the screen you have a picture of Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Why do I have them up there? I have them up there as an example. When nations are being built, infighting is always has always been and will always exist. Infighting has never 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 stopped a focused group from attaining its goal. As long as those who are around the infighting stay focused on the goal and not the individual, infighting don't mean shit. It's about being on cold. It's about being on code. Let me say that one more time. It is about being on code. If leaders within that organization who are also on themselves on code, but they have a disagreement, those two or three individuals cannot stop a movement as long as everyone else stays on code with the larger plan. Now, if everyone decides to break code and, get, and choose a personality, choose a side, if people decide to, if people decide to pick a leader and follow that leader and not the ideology, then yes, it won't work. If you're following people and not the message, it can't work. You got to follow the message. You got to follow the code. Like we all saw this past weekend, Umar Johnson throwing more shots at Tariq. And Tariq hit him with a few jokes, but for the most part, didn't really hit him back the way he did the last time. I like both brothers. I personally wish... I got introduced to Umar through Tariq's Hidden Colors. Do I personally wish them brothers could be on the same page? Yes. Is them not being on the same page going to stop a motherfucking thing from me, us, we, of attaining our goal? Hell no. Do I wish Umar would could get that school open and get some young children in that school? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I hope like hell I'm wrong. I really do. Because we can use a strong Umar. But if Umar decides to continue to chase Mike Tyson for boxing matches, marry fake marry women to raise money for his school and talk shit about people he don't like, that's unfortunate, but it ain't stopping shit. History lesson. During the construction of the United States and Air and the, of America, Nevis born Alexander Hamilton, which if you read the book, 
the five Negro presidents, J.A. Rogers goes in and talks about Alexander Hamilton's Negro blood based on his mother back in Nevis. Early documentation shows that he was probably a mulatto. But that's another story. Alexander Hamilton, leader of the Federalist Party, responsible for the current U.S. Treasury, founding father of the United States on the $10 bill because of his work, Umar, I'm not. I'm over here talking, then talking, then talking about Umar. <laughs> I see money. <laughs> Hamilton had a bitter disagreement and a bitter issues with Aaron Burr. His issues stem with Burr beating out his father-in-law. General Philip John Schuler for a seat in the U.S. Senate. So, since Burr, I mean Hamilton, father-in-law lost to Burr, Hamilton basically took it upon himself to undermine Burr's political career. For the rest of his life. Alexander Hamilton was such a hater. To Burr. To when Burr ran for the governor. Of New York. It was Hamilton. That used his power. As leader of the Federalist Party. And. The United States Treasury. He used his power to dissuade voters from voting for Burr for the governorship of the state of New York. Hating like a motherfucker. Hate, 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 hate. So, Burr's like, all right, I ain't tripping, whatever. So in 1800, when Burr ran for the presidency against Jefferson, it was Hamilton that used his influence as leader of the Federalist Party to dissuade potential voters from voting for Burr. So Burr lost the election. And back then, if you lost the election, you became vice president. And it's because of that election, they invoked the 12th Amendment to where the president got to choose their vice president. Before that, the vice president was whoever lost the presidency. Hamilton hated on Burr. Every chance he got. Hamilton also got in the middle of Burr's relationship with President Thomas Jefferson. So one day, Hamilton was talking shit, bragging about how he fucked up Burr's career. Burr said, oh, hell nah. You've been a hate motherfucker my whole goddamn time I've been in office. I challenge you to a duel. See, back then, when they were building this country, these motherfuckers literally shot and killed one another over differences in ideology. But guess what? The United States still got built. It was all kinds of backbiting and hating going on in the construction of this very country that we now live upon. Haters left and right. But see, the people who follow the code of building a new nation called the United States of America. They didn't buy into Alexander Hamilton, the person or Burr the person. They took what those people gave. And when they, this duel happened and Burr killed Hamilton, 
They kept moving on. They didn't say, well, now the United States can't exist because we just keep hating on each other. Why do white folks always got to be shooting each other? We ain't going to never get done if we don't come together. If we don't stop shooting each other, we ain't going to get nothing done. No, they weren't that fucking stupid. They said, damn, it's fucked up. Alexander Hamilton, creator of our treasury system, is dead. What are we going to do? <laughs> they said, shit, we're going to keep this treasury that he left us, put his ass on a $10 bill and keep pushing. And shit, we don't want no more people getting killed. Over, uh, you know, over because of the the, the 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 tension between the president and the vice president. So fuck that. We gonna create the twelfth amendment. And allow the president to select his own vice president. Because I'll be damned if, if this country's gonna survive. We can't have vice presidents out here killing motherfuckers. Because they tried to thwart their political aspirations. So let's go ahead and create that 12th Amendment. So this shit don't happen again. We're going to keep Hamilton's treasury and we're going to keep pushing. There was no coming together. No. No, I don't like that motherfucker. And I beat his ass. Didn't stop a whole nation from being built. A nation that's still here. What's the lesson in that black people? The people you look up to? The so-called leaders? Allow them to have their personality differences without that fucking up your vibe. If Umar decides to continue to being this dude that he's developed into being over the last few years, damn, sorry for you, brother, but uh, uh, he did leave a lot of useful information about that public school system. <laughs> Better take that nigga Umar's information about what's going on in schools, special education, how to keep your child out of it. You better take what that man left you when it came to that. And leave his personality behind. That's if you're on cold and want to grow and do better. You take what they left you and you keep it pushing. Another thing we don't need to have is this 